Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Missy Jen. Good morning, Missy Here with the lovely Missy Jen, and we are off to do something that we have not done in a long time, and that is to hit the gun range. Now, Missy Jen and I have been gun owners for years now here in California. <laughs> Jen was a uh, avid uh, owner in Missouri, out there and would often go shooting out near the reservoir and uh, out in the woods. Actually, you know, they had a gun it. range. Oh, somebody got hit here. Yeah. They had actually a gun range about eight miles up north out of the town. Like 10 miles. And you could go anytime you wanted to. It was uh, an open range. Part of it was open and then the back part was for the police. It was okay. closed off. It's a good deal around in, uh, I've been involved with, uh, a, well, I was a gun owner back in the late 1970s and early 80s. And at that time I had a Smith & Wesson 38 police special, which I really enjoyed shooting. I had to sell it to raise some money. So I was without a, uh, a uh, handgun for a lot of years. I was really happy two years ago. You know, Missy Jen said maybe it's time to get back into shooting again. So I went and got a Beretta 92 FS, which is the standard Marine Corps issue sidearm. And I've really enjoyed it. It's a very heavy piece. It has a very solid trigger pull. It's, uh, Missy Jen does well with the Glock. It has a lighter pull. It's a much lighter gun. And people Five love, people love the Glock. I probably have an eight pound pull on the Beretta, but people really enjoy shooting the Glock. It's a great piece. In my hands, I might accidentally blow my foot off. I like the off, fact though. that it has the said the safety on the Glock. I love. Yeah. It so we both. Oh, this is safe. the important thing when people say, "Gee, what what gun should I get?" And I'm no. I'm the furthest thing from an expert, but you've got to have a gun that feels good in your hand and has good heft to it because that thing has to be a seamless part of your body when you're holding a gun. If you have to rumble, stumble, fumble with safeties and uh, and uh, getting fully armed on that gun, safety off and all that, then you're going to have big problems. This is why for home defense, I personally do not recommend a pistol. I recommend a uh, revolver because a revolver is absolutely positively the most fail-proof weapon that you can have. These chambers moving forward in a, uh, with a mechanical method and a hammer striking the firing pin, it's not like it's gonna jam. It's not like it's going to misfire unless, you're, uh, unless your ammunition is defective. Uh, I think, Missy Jen, you probably agree it's the ultimate in home defense. I mean, if you absolutely positively have to defend yourself at all costs with no chance of, of uh, stove piping, misfiring, or anything like that, then I think a pistol, the, uh, not a pistol, but the revolver is the absolute best way to go. So this year my goal is to pick up a uh, probably a 357, three or four inch barrel. And, uh, you gotta make sure you do it soon. Yeah. We're gonna have start next year the ammunition with background check. Yeah, ammunition with background so check. So you're gonna have stuff. to start hoarding all the ammunition this so. year. So today I'm gonna <laughs> use the uh, the Beretta. Here. Our gun range is not a very good run, gun range. In fact, it's a horrible gun range. We don't have any choices out there. You can imagine in Northern California the permitting process that you would have to go through to open up a gun range would be absolutely. It's it boggles the mind, Missy Jen. It wouldn't happen. I don't care what kind of legal firepower you put behind it. Sonoma County Board of Supervisors, the Marin County Board of Supervisors, the Zoning Board. You won't. You'll be lucky if you get one. Yay! Along anywhere along the lines, and of course, municipalities have the right to regulate what goes on within their 
within their jurisdictions. They can't impede your right to bear arms, but they can impede your right to become proficient and useful with it. So you have to just get yeah. used to that and uh, and plan your life accordingly. So we're on our way out to uh, I think it's the uh, double S range uh, out in Two Rocks. We'll go past the That's Coast Guard Station. Yeah, Two Rocks. <laughs> I think it's Double S Ranch. Rainmaster, the Range Master is a former Navy guy. Meaner than hell out here. Loves to yell at people, and but he does run a safe range. But they're not real good at uh, taking care of the facility. They're not real good at putting up uh, boards for targets and things. They're just they're plain lazy, and it makes it not the best quality experience. But I'm here. You just have to work out once in a while. You have to stay good on your weapon have to be in a position that you're able to use it with no issues. We'll see you out at the range. And then after that, you put it back in. But, and, and up here, it, here in. Yeah, now just pull that action. Back. And then.
for me, I have I always worry about some of the chicks here. They turn around and stuff, and they're holding their gun. Never turn away from the fight. It makes me nervous sometimes. To be out. Yeah. I'm always nervous when people are out here. And they just, they just Turn around and three sixty and with the gun. No good. No good. I have to be down. I have to always be going down range. Not holding them right. It's not deep in my hand either. We're just waiting to put our targets up here. Yeah. The show on the roof. Three three years we've been coming out here, huh? Three years. Three years. And it's just as bad down here as it's ever been. Yep. This is what you pay your fifteen dollars for this. There's no pride here at all. In no this place. Pride, yeah. Not a bit. Screwed up backboards. It's a joke. All right, Jen. Make it a little bit easier for you. That same thing. Okay, good. Yeah. Same fucking thing. Oh. Having that same stove piping issue again. No problem with aluminum. Never see that on a I know, it's just I never have good luck with Winchester ammunition. Crap.
want to sit it out? Let's see how we did. We'll have a better wrap up, I think, at home. The battery's dying. I'm the target on the right. Missy Jen's on the left. All right. Whoa. Looks like a hell of a good day for shooting for me. Woo! Learn to love it, baby. A lot in the black there. A good, good shoot. And Missy Jen's got a lot in the black too. Awesome sauce. Good day. Learn to love it, baby. Chicks with guns. Woo! Well, there it is, Missy Jen. I think we both had exceptional days out for not being out. Maybe we should only shoot once. Uh, once or twice a year. And that's some uh, rock solid shooting we got today, huh? Yeah, that's pretty good. You got it's really tight high. today. I was really tight to the target, nice. which is unreal. Okay, and you were tight I to the target too today. Yeah. That's it. Really tight and Yeah, the only problem is we had the brass jacketed was failing, but the aluminum is always flawless. Excellent day, excellent, excellent, tight day shooting. Excellent. I know, this All right, Missy been, Jen. This has been probably the best. Yeah, I think it's the best shooting, shooting we've ever probably done in a long time. And yeah. After not shooting. For I months. agree. I should have so many problems every time I come in. All right, guys. Thanks so much for being along today. And yeah, it is fun to own and use a weapon for sure. Firearms. Using firearms, use them safely, but enjoy them. Okay, thanks guys from Double S Ranch. Thumbs up or appreciate it.